Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the Black Cat Bushcraft channel. I'm Matt. If you watch my channel much, you know that I've been practicing uh, quite a bit lately with my cordage, working on knot tying and cordage skills, basically. Um, and cordage is one of the most useful tools that we carry with us in our pack. So I just want to learn everything that I can do with that cordage to maximize that resource that I carry. Uh, so I was practicing a little bit with how I could use this cordage as a pot suspension system over a fire and trying to keep it pretty simple at the same time. Basically what I've rigged up here is I took this uh, large limb and rigged it up between these two support poles just to kind of simulate a big version of a spit. So you can imagine if I were uh, setting up like a semi-permanent shelter or something like that between two trees and I could just lash this pole between. This would make a great setup if you had your fire right down here. Um, the beauty of this system is if you want to move your pot from side to side to get it off the fire, you could easily do that. Or if you're not cooking and you just want to have your pot so your cookware around camp, you can easily hang it from a toggle and you can adjust it anywhere you want on this, uh, on this limb. But at the same time, your pot is also completely adjustable vertically so that you can drop it down and get it onto the coals. Very sim simple. And you can bring it back up to get it further away from the flames or further away once you're done cooking. Um, so if you're interested, I'll show you exactly what knots you have to tie. It's very simple to put this together. Um, I can't recall seeing anybody else do something exactly like this, although I'm sure there's nothing new uh, in the bushcraft world. But I'll share this little system that I was practicing right now. Okay, the first knot that you'll need to tie is attaching your toggle to your cordage. And you can use a simple clove hitch for that. You can see I just take the cordage with the working end on top. And I just wrap it all the way around and come back across, creating an X. All right, and now I'm going to come on under one more time and then just come back through the center of those two, like this. Okay, and at that point, I cinch that down and I've created a clove hitch. Now, if you use a clove hitch, I'm going to strongly recommend that you put a stopper knot underneath that. And a stopper knot is simply an overhand knot. I apologize that's a very simple thing to do an overhand knot and just use that as a stopper so that your cordage can't slip back through when if, if your clove hitch starts to slip this will bind against the cordage and prevent the slip so that's one one potential solution there okay now personally I like to use what's called a constrictor knot and I filmed another video on exactly how to do a constrictor knot but I'll show it again right here right so me loosen this clove hitch up a bit okay so just like we were tying our clove hitch come over top and now come back just like you're gonna do your clove hitch and now one more time kind of come underneath so you see that the original bite that came over top of our toggle go under and cinch that and now you really don't have to worry about a stopper knot because this thing cinches so tight that it will not it will not slip because it's binding on itself. Now the next knot that we're going to need to tie is a bowline knot. And tying a bowline knot is pretty simple. Usually we just take a bite in the cord. And you have the bottom and the top. And a little saying that people use is the rabbit comes up through the hole. He runs around the tree and he comes back through the hole. I did not coin that. I've heard it from several people before. When you cinch that down, it gives you a bowling loop, which if you're not familiar, is just a stationary loop that will not slip in your cordage. Now, that would be easy if we could just slide this over this pole, but depending on how this is set up, that may not be an option. And so we need to be able to tie the bowling knot so that it's already looped on our crossbar. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to take the bite, just like we did before, right? And now, at that point, we're going to tie a bowling knot going underneath of our crossbar. So you just go under, and that's going to put your, that's where your loop's going to form. Now, the same thing, the rabbit comes up through the hole, he goes around the tree, and he goes back through the hole. And when you cinch that down, it gives you a bowling knot. Now, you just let that swing to the bottom side, and we've got a loop, and that loop won't slip, and that gives us the ability to move this up and down our crossbar wherever we want to position it. I know that's probably difficult to see, so I'll do it once more quick. 
Okay, just to make sure you can see it good. Okay, we take a bite in our rope. Okay, just fold it over on itself. And go under your crossbar. Right, this short end, the working end, comes through the loop and it goes around the standing end. Right, it goes behind it. And then you just simply pull that back through your loop. And when you cinch that, you'll have your bowline knot. Now that will hang and be a stationary loop for you. Okay? Easy enough. All right, so at this point, I've got my bowline knot attached to my crossbar and I've got my toggle attached with the clove. Actually, I used a constrictor knot down at the bottom, whichever you choose. And so, at this point, I have the bail on my bush pot, and I simply pass the toggle through the bail. A lot of times when we use a toggle against a bail like this, we think of it resting directly against when we have a vertical adjustment up top. In this case, we're going to let the toggle pass on through the bail and come up so that the cordage is what's on the bail. And now we're simply going to take, take the cordage in the front, push against the toggle, wrap a loop behind it, and slide it back to the center. It's very, very simple, and I'll show you a close-up of that. But at this point, we've got our pot suspended, and if we want to raise it to the top, we can go all the way up. If we want to slide it down to the ground, and put it all the way down on the coals, we can do that as well uh, with this particular system. All right? And Whenever you do this, just a, a little tip is to make sure to keep your, your loop here in the center. It helps distribute the weight evenly over the toggle. You wouldn't want to have it come down to the end because then it is likely to slip off. But I'm going to show you, as long as your weight's distributed equally, that's more weight than I could ever put in this pot for cooking. If this pot was full of water to the brim, it wouldn't be that heavy. And so this supports very well. And it's completely adjustable vertically as I showed you and because the bowline knot gives us the chance to go lateral side to side that gives us quite a bit of adjustment in our camp using this type of system. All right, I'll show you up close how I attach the, the cordage to the top. All right, I know sometimes when you're working with cordage it can be difficult to see things that's why I'm using this bright orange cord number one but just to give you an idea I just got this run through the bale of the bush pot down here so you can see that okay and all I'm going to do this is my standing in. Just put it up against your toggle, just like this. I'll try to zoom in if I can. Okay, so I'm going to put it just against the toggle and just wrap all the way over top. And that's it. It's just balancing basically on the toggle. But it's nice and strong up top and down low. That's what you want to keep centered right there. If you let this slip out, on the side that's not going to work well you want to keep it all pushed to the center and your weight will be distributed evenly over your toggle all right well i thank you guys for taking the time to tune in i hope that this idea will benefit you in some way um, there may be somebody else out there who's using a very similar or maybe the exact same system i just haven't seen it quite like that before and i was playing around with the cordage and just trying to come up with some new ideas of how I might do things in my camp. And I just thought I'd share that idea with you. So hope you enjoy it. I appreciate, as always, your support, your interest. Feel free to comment and please subscribe if you haven't. And I look forward to talking to you again with another video very soon. Until then, take care and God bless.